up you guys, I'm Finnish and today I'm going to be reacting to SML Movie President Marvin by SML. So it looks like Mario's going to become the president of the US. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> <coughs> Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. The original link is down in the description. Make sure you guys go subscribe to SML. And yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Boop. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. <laughs> Anyways, guys, the original link is down in the description. And yeah, let's begin. <laughs> Hey, Daddy! Jeffy, you're making a mess! Hey, Daddy! <laughs> I get it! Because it's hey! <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I got a joke for you, Jeffy. What? What does a gay horse eat? Dick! What? No, they eat... Hey! Oh, I guess that would make more sense. But they still like dick! Jeffy, what? Man, I love Jeffy. Never just get this off the couch. Let's, let's watch the news. Breaking news, okay. Since Joe Biden has dropped out of the presidential race, the Democrats are still looking for their nominee oh, for the yeah. 2024 election to go up against Donald Trump. So if you think you have what it takes to be the next president, then start a campaign. Oh, wow, they still need someone else to run for president. Oh, Danny, can I run for president? No, Jeffy, you have to be 35 years old. Oh, Marvin, you're over 35. You could be president. I'm not smart enough to be president. Well, Daddy, that'd be the fucking pities if you ran for president, because then I could tell everybody that my daddy runs the country. Jeffy, don't say country like that. Well, all I said was country. Jeffy, you're saying it as two words. Say it as one word. It's country. I've always ever said a country. Je Jeffy, just stop saying it. Hey, Danny, I got a joke for you. What type of tree grows female peepees? What? A country. All right, that's it. Je um, what? <laughs> Jeffy, you're grounded. And the first part of being grounded is you're going to get a vacuum and suck up all this hay. What? Before a gay horse eats it? Yeah, exactly. So go get it. Too hard. No, that's what she Too said. Too hard. What? Who is she? Like, like you know, like a, that's what she said. Like, like a girl has said that before. Who has said that, Marvin? Yeah, what's her name? But no, no, no girl has said that to me. It was a joke. Oh, that's embarrassing. So you lied? It's a joke. A joke is not a lie. I mean, it's not a true thing that happened, but it... <laughs> so, let, me, let me see who that is. Hello? Hi, Marvin. Oh, good, man. I don't have my house payment this month. I don't give a fuck. That's not what... <laughs> <laughs> but you always give up. <laughs> this is about so what's it about i need you to run for president but me why me because i am in a shithole of tax debt right now i haven't paid my taxes in 10 years and i'm actively being audited they're already seizing my offshore bank accounts so i need you to run for president so you can pardon all my tax debt well why don't you just run for president and pardon yourself i don't want to run for president because i don't want to have to live four years in the white house ew poor my house is way better than the white house not to mention the president's not allowed to drive so how am I going to drive my Lamborghinis? Ew! Poor! And also, the last president that got sucked off in the Oval Office got impeached. I get sucked off all the time, Marvin. Like five to ten times a day. So I'm going to be impeached as fuck. So that's why I need you to do it. Well, I don't even think I have what it takes to be a president. Marvin, the only thing you need to worry about is money. And I got plenty of it. So I'll sit there and I'll support your campaign. Super pack as fuck. <laughs> Are you sure I have what it takes? Yes. You like ice cream? Yeah. Well, great. You're a perfect replacement. Let's go get you a really nice suit and shit. Okay. Marvin, that's a nice suit. That looks good. Whoa, Marvin. What are you all dressed up for? I'm running for president. You are? Fuck yeah, he is. And I've already funded your campaign $200 million. So now you're the Democratic shit. nominee. I am? Yeah. So now let's go to your first debate. Debate? Well, what am I even going to say? I don't know. Just answer the questions and do whatever you think. Okay. Come on. Hello and welcome to the 2024 presidential debate where Donald Trump will be debating new Democratic presidential candidate Marvin Marvin. 
No fuck, that's his actual name, Marvin Marvin. All right, candidates, I'm gonna ask you some questions and you answer them. We'll start with you, Mr. Trump. What would you do to secure the border? Well, the first thing I would do is I would get a huge, I'm talking huge pair of scissors, and I would cut right across the U.S.-Mexico border, and I would push Mexico out into the ocean so they're no longer connected to America, the greatest country <laughs> in the world. And Mexico would what be its own little floating island of Mexicans not taking our jobs. And we would maintain <laughs> our Taco Bell jobs here. Taco Bell is a great American cuisine filled the bellies of many Americans. All right, Marvin, same question for you. What would you do to secure the border? Uh, the, the border, um, I've been on a cruise to Mexico. Are, are they not allowed to take a cruise here like can they not visit America like what's the problem I don't I don't even know what he's saying and quite frankly I don't think he knows what he's saying either Mexicans <laughs> are stealing our jobs Mr. Trump please allow him to finish his answer oh no that was that was that was my answer I I don't know what the I've been to Canada. Are we stopping Canada too? All right. Well, next question. Marvin, how would you create more jobs in America? Well, ever since COVID, the McDonald's and Walmart where I live are no longer 24 hours. And so if I was president, I would make them open 24 hours. So that'll create jobs because I want a quarter pounder with cheese at 2 a.m. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Trump, how would you create more jobs? Well, the first thing I'm going to do to create more jobs is hire a bunch of people to build my huge pair of scissors for the... Oh my word. <laughs> Border. Then the next thing I'm going to do for more jobs is I'm going to hire a bunch of Mexican watchers that are going to sit on the border. And what they're going to do is they're going to watch for Mexicans trying to swim back to our great, big, beautiful country. And then I'm going to hire more Secret Service agents. And then I'm going to hire more Secret Service agent trainers. And a new Secret Service director. And in the great big factory of bandages, I'm going to hire more workers to create more ear bandages. <laughs> and then in all our hospitals, we're going to have more ear doctors. They're going to be great. They're going to be very intelligent. They're going to be handsome. And then we're going to have more dome builders for my indoor rallies because I'm not going outside anymore. I'm not going to do it. You can't make me do it. All right, final question. Mr. Trump, what would you do about gun control? Quite frankly, if everyone had guns that day, this wouldn't have happened in my beautiful ear because they would have shot him before he shot me, right, man? <laughs> shoot Marvin, shoot Marvin, shoot Marvin. My beautiful ear. The doctors even were astonished of how much it bled. They said, my ear bled more blood than they've ever seen anything else bleed ever. And that's astonishing to me. You could cut your finger off and it still wouldn't bleed more blood than my ear bled that day. But uh, they're still looking into why the ear bleeds more than any other body part that anyone has. Uh, but with that being said, I think babies should have guns. I think when you're born, they should put a gun in the baby's hands. And that is how we're going to make America great again. Fuck you. All right, Marvin, what about you? What do you think about guns? Uh, well, guns are loud and scary, and they kill people, and I, I don't think, I don't think you need an AR-15. I mean, a handgun's nice, I mean, to protect yourself. I don't, I don't know why you'd ever need an AR-15, because those are big, and, like, the military needs that. I don't know why you'd need that, so, I don't. I guess you buy what you want, I guess. Let me stop you right there. Let me stop you. This guy right here is a loser. I'm a winner. <laughs> I, bet, I bet he doesn't even this know how to go. Right what, what's your handicap? Soul. Oh, I'm, I'm not handicapped. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm mentally good. I think my son might be handicapped. I mean, I think, he, he, I think he's faking it sometimes, but I, I'm okay. I bet he can't even hit par on a par four. I, I can par four. Wrong. All right, that does it for this debate. Well, you did okay, Marvin, right. but I think Trump did better. The good news is we have until November to get you ready for the election, so I recommend playing more golf. Well, Marvin, I think you did great. And also, I think you're right. McDonald's should be open 24 hours again. Good afternoon, Mr. Marvin. Who are you guys? We're your new Secret Service agents. I'm Agent Earl, and this is Agent Guy. Hello. Oh, why do I have Secret Service agents? I'm not president. Well, we have to protect the candidates, too, to make sure they make it to the election. Oh, that's so fun. 
fun. We're protecting him, not you. So what do you guys do all day? Well, we protect you at all times. You go to take a piss, we hold it. You take a shit, we wipe it. We protect you from everything. Oh, okay. Oh, my stomach's growling. He's got a Russian rat in his stomach trying to kill him. Get him down. Oh, oh, get, what? Ah! get out of there, you Russian bastard. But I'm just hungry. What? I'm hungry. Oh, I thought you had a rat in your stomach trying to eat its way out of your abdomen, or maybe you swallowed some cyanide. No, I'm just hungry. I want to go to the kitchen and get some food. He needs food. Food. All right, let's go to the kitchen. I got this side. I got this side. We good? We're good. Are we good? We're good. Okay, move, 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 it looks like shit. Hey! Mr. Marvin, for your safety, I have to recommend that you not eat these. You're gonna get some kind of deadly diarrhea. I recommend we go somewhere safe with a roof, like Applebee's. I concur. I mean, we can go to Applebee's. I got this side. I got this side. Are we ready to move? We're ready to move. Are we good? We're good. Move, 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 move. Okay, Mr. Marvin, you stay right there while me and Agent Earl clear the area. Agent Earl, go! Make sure you get rid of any knives and forks. We don't want anything pointy. Uh, I, I can use a fork. No, that's what the terrorists want you to do is eat with forks. You gotta use... I don't like these guys. They're so mean. Well, Rookie is... <laughs> spoons only. Hello, welcome to Apple. What the fuck? Get her, get her, get her, get her. Who are you? I'm the waitress. Do you have a gun, you hippie? No, I work here. We good? We're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. Ugh, what can I get you? Well, just to be safe, I think we should probably get um one of everything on the entire menu just to make sure it's not poison. I think, girl. Are you going to pay this time? Uh, excuse me, this is a presidential <laughs> candidate. Of course we're going to use campaign money to pay. Ha! <laughs> Perky is so dumb sometimes. Okay. All right, Mr. Marvin, when the food gets here, don't eat anything until me and Agent Earl have tasted it. All right, here's all the food. Oh, this all looks so good. Yeah, I, I mean, poisoned. I'm bringing the check before you can run away. Hey, 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 what do you think you're doing, Marvin? I no. want a cheese stick. No, 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 no. I have to make sure none of this stuff is poison before you can eat it. I say we check the drinks first. Good idea, Agent Earl. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? This is Diet Pepsi. This might as well be poisoned. Marvin, I'm doing you a favor. All right, now what do I want to taste test first? Ooh, maybe the chicken wonton tacos? Or maybe the chicken Alfredo? Or the four cheese mac and cheese honey pepper chicken tender? Mmm, that looks... Surprisingly really good. Mm. Can I have it? <coughs> or maybe the kid's cheese pizza. Just don't touch my bur- his burger. Alright Marvin, just be patient and wait right there while we test this food. Agent Earl, ready? Ready. Are we ready? We're ready! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was definitely not poisoned. Nah. -uh. Oh, that was delicious, Marvin. What am I gonna eat? Oh, yeah, right. Well, I do have two french fries left that might be poisoned. So, how are you going to pay? <laughs> pay? We don't have to pay. He's a presidential candidate. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't pay in the last SML video either. Oh my work, Brucky. I am. Alright, that's it! Guys! Oh, 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 shit. Marvin, you okay, buddy? Man, damn. Oh, you got shot. Oh, we are so fired. Yeah. Oh, Marvin, I'm so sorry you got shot, buddy. Well, we couldn't help. We were just in a food coma. We couldn't even move. You saw the gun and you jumped out of the way. Well, yeah, Marvin, it's a gun. It's fucking scary. I don't want to get shot. Your job is to get shot to protect me. Wh why would I get shot for you? Because you're supposed to protect my life. Wh why is your life worth more than mine? Well, it, well cause just your job is to, to die for me. I think Brookie... Wait a minute. Oh god. Uh, as I was saying, I think Brooke is doing a real dumb job here.
if you have to. Okay, you're definitely not fit to be president if you think you're better than everybody. I don't think I, but your job is to protect me. Well, I don't want to get shot. I mean, a human life is a human life. Why should I die for you? That's not fair. Okay, listen, then you're not going to be a Secret Service agent. Oh, I don't want to be. Fuck this. I want to get shot. I'm not doing this job. <sighs> Baby, I think I'm going to drop out of the presidential race. It's too stressful. You're not allowed to eat, and people try to kill you every day. I think that's a good idea, Marvin. Okay, how do I announce I'm quitting? Like, do I go on Twitter? I don't have a Twitter. I think you just say it. I'm dropping out of the presidential race. Who's at the door? Hello. Hello, Marvin. Oh, God, what do you want, Trump? Well, I just wanted to stop by because I heard that you dropped out of the race. I did. Loser. Loser. <laughs> the <you'd> <laughs> Loser. Loser. The huge. <laughs> This country's ever seen. All right, well, I thought you'd be happy. Oh, I am, Marvin. Build the world, build the world, build the world huge. Build the world huge and build it really tall across the Mexico border. Goodbye, fucker. Oh, my ear! Oh, Also, guys, let me know if I should get this. There's only, there's only like two days left, so I, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> this was funny towards the end. <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> Marvin had it coming. Marvin definitely had it coming. Anyways, guys, with that being said, the original link is down in the description. And yeah, with that being said, I probably would rate this maybe like a 7.5. I mean, Marvin definitely had it coming at that point. And anyways, guys, with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.